Hey there guys, it's Ant Utah with another update. So far this season, I've caught 11 queens, 1 Campanatus queen from the species Hyate, and 10 Tetramorium queens. Last video I called them Tetramorium species E. This is what I saw them listed as when I started looking into keeping ants. But a viewer informed me that the name had changed so I looked into it and found that indeed it had. North American Tetramorium ants are no longer listed as species E as of October of 2017. Now they're listed as Tetramorium immigrants. Thank you to SK Wigadork for pointing that out to me. Now just in case you're in Utah and you're wondering where I'm finding these ants, I went hunting for the queen ants here, near Weber State in the Ogden area. I picked this spot for a few reasons. One, there's a big area I can walk that has woods, fields, buildings, and sidewalks that's open for anyone to walk around. The other reason was because in my previous videos, I showed a map of Utah where AntWeb had showed every ant that was documented in the state. But for some reason, from North Salt Lake to North Ogden, there were no ants listed in that area. The black dots you see here are all Tetramorium, the red dot is, was where the Campanatus was found. But on to an update of how the queens are doing. Here is the Campanatus queen. As you can see, she's laid quite a few eggs, and they're starting to grow. The Campanatus colonies take a while to grow. That can be the downside to raising them, but they're big ants, which makes watching them and filming them easy. Here's another short video of her watching over her eggs. On to the Tetramorium Queens. Queens 1 through 3 are doing well. They're moving right along. Here we can see Queen 1. The last video I said the eggs go into a cocoon stage before becoming workers. Well that was another mistake on my part. What I meant to say is that they go into a pupa stage. I didn't see it when I first took this picture, but I managed to actually capture that stage here. It won't be too long soon now before the queen will have her first ninitics. On to queen two and three. As you can see, we're starting to have lots of eggs here from each queen and they're growing. Now introducing queen five. But the first time in front of the camera, I tried to get as many pictures showing the queen and her eggs. Queen six was not camera shy. She watched right up to the edge of her eggs as I was taking these pictures. I got a good view of her because of that. Queen 7 was hard to take a picture of as she hid most of her eggs in the cotton and also had some on the tube. Queen 8, I believe, was a buller in her past life, or at least has a slight case of OCD. That being said, she's fairly new to the collection and doesn't have a lot of eggs yet. The same as her sister, Queen 9, but I do love the cluster of eggs so far. Then we come to Queen 10. She has eggs, but as you can see, she has dropped them anywhere. After her last two sisters nicely rowed and packed eggs in a clean tube, it's like seeing a messy child's bedroom, and I couldn't help but tell her to clean it up. But I thought she could understand anything that I'm saying. Then we come to a bit of sad news. If you notice, I didn't talk about Queen 4. The reason why is she still has not laid any eggs. I believe that she's infertile or was hurt the day I found her. When I found her, she was being attacked by another worker ant that she happened to walk past. I managed to get the worker ant off her, but maybe it did da uh, the damage to her or she was just not going to be able to lay any eggs. It is sad when this happens, but these things happen. Most queens out in the wild never go out to form a colony. They die from other ants, deformations, or they just never get fertilized. 
but as it is, this is the way of the life of ants. It is sad to know that she will not have a colony of her own, but at least she has graced us with her presence. But I'm not going to leave you on a sad note. One last thing, here's the Queen One making her first film debut by watching after her eggs. Well, maybe she doesn't like to be on camera. But as it is for now, until next time, this is Ants Utah signing off and reminding you that ants work wonders.